Hey viewers, Assalamu alaikum. In our previous video of food and drug analysis, we studied different sampling techniques and we also studied that why we use food and drug analysis or why we analyze our food or drug. In this video, we will study different sampling tools or instruments for food and drug analysis. And in the next second portion, we study sample pretreatment and storage techniques. First of all, we should know what are the general requirements for sampling instruments. Instruments or tools must be robust enough to withstand handling operations. They should be easy to clean and dry. They must be safe. They must meet safety requirements. <clears throat> the instruments made up of materials resistant to food and chemicals, acids, alkalis, bleaching agents, and surfactants. So the sampling instruments or tools should be resistant to corrosion. Sampling tools for liquids. The first one is the thief tube. Thief tube is made up of stainless steel. It is available in different lengths. Outer core, it has an outer core and inner tube. A holder provides to push the tube inside or outside. It is used mostly for taking oil sample from drum or deep. <coughs> the second one is the piston tube. It is made up of steel or plastic having a piston to develop pressure. It sucks liquid like a syringe. We also have different type of pipettes available for uh, sampling liquid like glass pipette and it has a controller or pipette aid which is which can be used and the second one is the micro pipette for small sample and we also we can also use multi-channel pipetter <coughs> the next sampling tool for liquid is the sampling scoop it is made up of steel or it may be of plastic and it has variable handle size it is used for surface sampling the next is the dipping vessel dipping vessel is made up of steel it is available in different lengths it is used for deep sampling vessel is filled during dipping and while in upward movement it it has a lid which closes it and the sample can be taken the very common and most common Sampling tool for liquid is also a vacuum pump which can also be used to take sample from the underground water. Now the next one is the sampling tools for, for solid. For solid we can use powder dryer. It is made up of stainless steel. It has cut on one side of the tube. It, it is also provided with drill and it is used mostly for soil sampling. Spear sampler or grain spear sampler. It is made up of stainless steel. <clears throat> May be divided into different zone. Therefore, it is also called as zone sampler. It is dipped inside the solid material and different zones can be taken. The rotation of the handle open it in spiral fashion and different zones open up in different time. The next is the double tube sampler. It has a rotating outer tube which is used for opening and closing of the different parts with different zones like spear. Opening allows the sample to be collected and it can be closed to prevent it from uh, uh, poison, po uh, contamination or poisoning. The next is the sampling trawl. It is made up of plastic or steel. It is used for surface sampling. Drill or agar. The different type of drills are available like hand drill, electric drill and it is used for hard and tough solid to be taken as a sample. Spiral sampler. It is made up of stainless steel and it is almost similar to hand drill 
and it is also it can also be used for taking different samples the last one is the rifle cutter it is made up of iron or steel it is used for continuous sampling it is also called a sample divider sampling tools for gases for gases we can use a metal cylinder with an inlet and outlet valves and a manometer connected with it to measure the gas pressure well, now this is our next part of our presentation which is sample pretreatment and storage solid sample must be ground to find particle size of 0.5 to 1 millimeter for good results solid sample must be passed through sieve with mesh size of 35 fresh food must be analyzed immediately are homogenized at minus 20 degree centigrade in presence of nitrogen and stored at low temperature sample must be stored in pre-cooled plastic bottles with wide mouth liquid samples must be mixed or shaked with stirring we can use magnetic stirrer for stirring shaking or we can use sonicator for sonication liquid sample must be stored in airtight container to avoid evaporation light sensitive materials should be stored in brown bottle or covered with aluminum file and stored in dark places samples which are sensitive to oxygen must be stored in presence of nitrogen flow if drying is essential then use freeze dryer or air dryer but moisture content should be determined to avoid spoilage of our food we can use preservatives like metaphosphoric acid formaldehyde chloroform etc can be used to prevent spoilage according to the conditions or requirement to preserve from moisture contents we can use desiccator which is also helpful to prevent moisture if you like my video please subscribe my channel like and share thanks for watching